Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how I keep track of profit and all their expenses on all of my dropshipping stores. We'll cover product and ad costs and everything else like that, and I'll show you guys how to find your exact profit each and every day. Doing this will make tax season so much easier for you guys in the long run. And if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Alex, I cover all things related to e-com here, so if you guys find any value in this video whatsoever, remember to leave a like and subscribe for plenty more. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so this is the exact method that I use each and every day to keep track of daily revenue. I'll show you guys the method that I use to keep track of daily profit in just a moment, and I'll walk you guys through both of these Excel files. But I use Excel, you guys don't have to pay for Excel, you guys can use like Google's free version of Excel or really any program that has these capabilities. But right here you keep track of the date each and every day. Um, you're gonna use this file when you're going through and doing each of your daily orders. So if you guys are doing AliExpress dropshipping through Oberlo, each order you go through one at a time, you wanna make sure to input all the information on here so you guys can keep track of all your profit. If you guys use like print on demand or pirate ship or really any other service, same thing. You wanna keep track of all the costs on here and go through and do each order one at a time. If you guys are sending you know, large Excel files to your supplier and getting an invoice later on, make sure to keep track of all those costs as well. It's a little bit more complicated doing that, but just going through one at a time in the very beginning, this is one of the best ways to do it. I went ahead and created this formula on this Excel file for you guys. So I'll leave two download links in the description below so you guys can actually download these yourselves and try these out if you like it. But right here we have net revenue minus the cost equals your daily revenue each and every day. So I have this formula right here. This just equals this cell minus this cell, and then I put it all the way down, as you can see, by all these zeros. And then right here, after you totaled each of your orders every single day, so once you have all of these lines drawn, you just want to go under formulas and click auto sum, and it'll give you the total of your daily revenue each and every day. So net revenue right here, this is the amount of money you get from each sale. So say I'm selling a $20 product after shop pay takes out their fees and everything else, I'm left with net 1911, say the product cost was $2.45, that leaves me with $16.66. So say the next order was a little larger of an order, we got $29.49 net revenue from it. Let's say this order cost us like $4.45, it leaves us with $25.04 right here, and then all of this will get added up together at the bottom. So. Going on to the next day, once you get this complete for one day, you just wanna go ahead and copy this cell right here, paste it under the next date, so September 2nd in this case, and same thing again. So say we get 1911 from the first order, this one costs us 349, we're left with 1562. You just wanna drag this all the way down for how many orders you get each and every day. So if we go through and just fill in all of these with you know random numbers, and then we'll do costs in just a second, so. I'm just putting some random random numbers in here. I'm not really paying attention to any of these, just for demonstration purposes only. So at the end of the day, you auto sum this. You're left with 470.02 net revenue. We'll go ahead and make that bold and underline it just to keep track of everything. Copy, paste it to the next day and the cycle goes on. So going from here, you wanna keep track of these bold and underlined numbers and you're gonna move these over to your profit tracking file on Excel so we can subtract the ad costs each and every day and find out how much profit you are left with. So let's move over to the next file and I'll show you guys how to keep track of your profit every day because now you guys know how to keep track of your daily revenue. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about how to keep track of your daily profit and this is the last Excel file that you'll need. So make sure to copy that revenue number from the previous sheet for the exact day. So I know that last one was lined up in the second but we'll just say it's the revenue number from the first. So we put the 470.02 number on here and then for your daily ad spend, whatever platforms you guys are running ads on, you wanna go through and find the yesterday number for ad spend. So don't do this until the day's over because obviously you won't have total numbers until after midnight. But let's say I went on Facebook ads, Google ads, Snapchat ads and combined all of my ad spend from the day before on September 1st and found out it was $75 even. So the profit right here subtracts this, uh, it subtracts this number, the ad spend from the revenue cell right here to give you your daily profit each and every day. So keep track of this. You wanna copy that cell right here to the second and do the same thing each and every day. So say September 2nd, we got 500 even in revenue and our ad spend was $87. That leaves us with 413. Copy paste it on down and this allows you to keep track of your profit each and every day. So you can find out how much profit you made in one week, one day. Um, also, it's another good idea to make sure you're keeping track of all your expenses as well. So whatever Shopify plan you're on, if you're on the basic you know, $29 plan, make sure you're subtracting $29 monthly 
Um, if you guys are holding inventory, make sure you're subtracting your monthly inventory costs and everything to do like that, your domain cost, um, everything else. You just wanna keep track of all of this for taxes. You really wanna be able to write off as much as you possibly can on your taxes so that you have less of a tax liability at the end of the year. So that's really the basic rundown of how I keep track of all my revenue, expenses, costs, and just overall profit each and every day. Um, it's good practice to always have this file on hand. So if you guys are traveling, make sure to email this file to yourself or keep it on a flash drive so you guys can just plug it right into your laptop and be good to go if you guys usually have like a desktop, desktop setup or like an at-home office or anything like that. Make sure to always have these files on you and to stay on top of your accounting. So you wanna to remember to always keep track of profit and expenses moving forward. This will definitely make things easier, help you reinvest in your business and avoid tax disasters. I hope I was able to help you guys out with this video. If you found any value in this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. I have two e-com resources linked in the description below. You're welcome to check out either one of those. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.